Hello, David Diga Hernandez here, and you are watching ETV Interviews here on the Encounter TV Network. Well, my guest today, you all know him, Stephen Moctezuma, my good friend. Hey, good hey. to see you, bro. Yeah, How are you? Here. Very well. Very we are well. here quite often. Yeah, we are. We're no stranger here. It's this always is, fun, though. You're just as much as I am. Mm -hmm. But today's a little different because we're talking about your new single. Now, this is your first original single worship song that you're releasing on a on this, this scale anyway, with all the different stores and iTunes, and I'm sure we'll provide links. But uh, just tell us a little about the song. Yeah, so um, the song is called The Holy Spirit, and uh, I kind of, I wanted to write a song devoted to the Holy Spirit. And so this is kind of a, my interpretation of who the Holy Spirit is to me, and also from the Bible. So, so what's interesting is we had talked about is that very rarely do we see people writing songs to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So there are songs about the Holy Spirit, and then there are even fewer songs to the Holy Spirit, but you really decided to write this one to the Holy Spirit. Why is that? Well, um, again, it, the, pretty much what you said there, I've, I've noticed pretty much if you look at all the worship songs nowadays, they're to Jesus, to God, and obviously the Holy Spirit, but singing to the Holy Spirit, uh, like, like you said, those are kind of far and few. Um, so that's what I kind of wanted to do is write a song exclusively about who the Holy Spirit is to me, and and, and it's how not he works. that it's not that we don't think that you know obviously the Father, Son, Holy Spirit they're all one, mm -hmm. but so few people honor the Holy Spirit like they should nowadays. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and I and I think that's something that I really hope people will kind of get through the song is the realization that without the Holy Spirit we would really have no connection with the Father and 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 everything we do. I mean everything relies on the Holy Spirit. He was brought here for us, so. And your love for the Holy Spirit inspired the lyrics. Yes, yeah. So talk to me about the lyrics. So the lyrics, um, originally they were different, uh, but uh, I sat down with you and with a couple of my buddies, and we kind of just, uh, I'll share the story of when we went to the beach. Um, so uh, we ended up at the local beach over here where we live, and uh, I wanted to get inspired. So uh, how many of you guys know inspiration always happens for some reason? When you're at the beach, it's and great. you love the ocean, so. The ocean, the wind, it's beautiful. So uh, we sat down and we just kind of thought, you know, what could we write that could really uh, be different than anything we, I've ever heard, you know? So um, I took inspiration from the ocean, took inspiration from uh, even the simplest thing as the breeze blowing uh, in, in, in the trees and in the grass. So um, little things like that kind of brought this song together, so. And so you actually wrote about the Holy Spirit in Genesis mm -hmm. and in the book of Acts. Yes. So you talked about how he was influential in both of those areas. Yeah, so um, I, I really wanted to bring it back to where we find the Holy Spirit in the Bible. And in the beginning, in the book of Genesis, it talks that that uh, he, he brooded over the earth. You know, he was there in the beginning of time and God breathed his breath, which we interpret as the Holy Spirit. Um, over everything that we know, which uh, in turn created everything we know. So um, that was the beginning of it. And I finished the song, um, we jump over to Acts and just the upper room movement and the upper room experience, which is something that is awesome because I always think oftentimes when I'm leading worship, I want to make sure that I bring the Holy Spirit uh, aware, make Him aware, you know, while we're worshiping. So. Um, that's kind of what the song is, is it goes, yeah, it goes from Genesis and then jumps to Acts and finishes with an internal affirmation. And I really appreciate that. And I'm sure our viewers all know your worship style and the songs you do. Mm -hmm. But I really like what you said. You were basically saying that you want the people to be aware of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a, there's a part in the song, and I think you'll all know, um, it's kind of the big culmination of the song. And... Um, how many guys out there know that what we want is the Holy Spirit to, to not come down because we know He's already dwelling with us, but just uh, our awareness of Him and surrendering everything we have uh, to Him and allowing Him to move throughout whatever we do. So that's kind of like the really big inspiration part of my the song. that. And, and that's another thing I like, because I've heard the song several times, and one of the things I like about it is that you really you really paid very close attention to the fine details of the theology of the Holy Spirit or the pneumatology. Yes. And so I appreciate that about uh, your music. Now tell us about, the, give us a story about how it all came about. Um, well, uh, me and David or Diga, we were kind of just, uh, it actually came about, it's a funny story. It came about, uh, I was in his living room and I was really kind of, you know, in a moment of just writing and inspiration and 
uh, I just was like, man, uh, we got to write a song about the Holy Spirit. And we could, I could have written any other song about anything else, but I felt in my heart that this song needed to be out. And so right then and there, I just got a um, couple chords together that I really love and enjoy to play and just kind of put them together. And, and I got the music down first, and then that's when I started working on the lyrics and looking through the Bible, figuring out where I could go with, uh, you know, the song and what direction. Because, I mean, when you're writing a song, you can take it any direction. It's, it's endless but I wanted to make sure that the focus was uh, the awareness of the Holy Spirit. So, And it really shows in the song. Even when I'm listening to it, it does. It makes me, as I'm singing it, it makes me aware of the Holy Spirit. And I'm, yeah. I'm singing it right to Him. And there's, some, there's one part in there, and you were talking about kind of like the, the, the climax of the song, where I'm singing it to Him. And I was in my car the other day just singing it to Him. Mm. And I could feel His presence in the yeah. car with me. And I think that's the key. Like you said, he's already with us, but when we become aware of him, then we begin to sense him. Yeah. And so I think this song really brings people into an awareness of the presence of the Holy Spirit. So excellent job on it, man. Thank you, thank you. So this is it. It's out, your yeah, first single. What about the future? Album's coming? Oh, there's definitely uh, a lot, of, many things, many things, too many to, to think of at the moment, but there's a lot of things that we're working on uh, as a team and uh, internally working on and getting inspiration out of everything we do. So... Look forward to 2018 and beyond and seeing what we can come up. And yeah, definitely CDs and albums. And All right, my friend. Well, thank you for doing this. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Awesome song. Love you, thank man. You. And uh, if you'd like information on Steve's worship ministry or this recent song that he's released, even his worship playlist, just go to stevenmoctezuma.com. Go show him some support. Sign up to his emailing list. He sends out an email with a new worship cover every single week. And on top of that, you'll also get information about this song. So love you guys. Until next time, remember... Nothing is impossible with God. Holy Spirit, I surrender.